Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video. My name is Taylor Ventude, and this principle of firing bullets and then cannonballs is probably one of the most brilliant and simplistic mental models or mental frameworks that you can have in your arsenal of frameworks in your mind for split testing and innovating and growing your business to the next level, your agency to the next level, okay? Jim Collins, the writer of Great by Choice and Good to Great, I mean, these, these are phenomenal books. He is the guy who came up with this. I did not come up with this, but when I read this, oh my God, I was like, I need to make a video about this. So stick with me for three to four minutes. I'm gonna explain to you why this is such an important principle and how it's gonna help you grow your business, grow your agency, and take it to the next level. Let's begin. All right, here we are on the whiteboard. And a bullet, what is it? It is, as defined by Jim Collins, a low risk, low cost, low distraction test or experiment that you can run. Very important that you understand this, okay? Now, you should use bullets to validate if your ideas are going to work. So you have some big idea. Well, first of all, figure out how you can test that big idea in a bullet format, okay? Now, what you wanna do is once you've fired a bullet that has proven to be successful, let's say it hits your target, which is a reference to, it, it brings you a return on your investment. Then what you wanna do after is concentrate those resources that, are, that you have and fire a cannonball, okay? Now, a cannonball is basically just a bullet that's magnified. So. Again, coming to this second whiteboard here, the mistake that most entrepreneurs make isn't that they are firing too many bullets. It's usually that they get some big idea and they fire a big cannonball before they validate that this big idea is gonna work on a small scale, right? They never fired a bullet. Now, Jim Collins defined this as a uncalibrated cannonball. A cannonball that is simply shot out and is not calibrated to hit its target, okay? So what you wanna do is absolutely first fire the bullet, make sure that it's gonna hit the, 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 the target, and then go ahead and fire a cannonball and concentrate your resources. But the mistake that other entrepreneurs make, and this is what the mistake that I've made for many years, is, and it's, I think it's less common, it, it's that people make the mistake of firing lots of bullets but never concentrating their resources into a cannonball, okay? And I mean, let me give you a practical example. Trojan Horse Marketing, a fantastic lead gen system that I actually first kind of created in the beta testing in like 2016. This is literally like the first six months of my agency. I, I, I had created a micro version of Trojan Horse Marketing. Not as good as what it is today, but it worked and it signed clients in the first month and the second month and the third month, but I never concentrated my resources to scale that lead gen system to 10X that lead gen system's throughput. I didn't really understand this. I, I, I just thought, okay, this is good and let, let, let's just keep rolling it at, you know, let's just keep sending like, contacting 100 companies a month. I wasn't thinking big. I wasn't thinking, wait, how can we get this Trojan Horse marketing system to contact 10,000 companies a month instead of 100? And so that's the difference, and this is the mistake that I made. So again, if this isn't really sticking with you, a good way to kind of reference this, and this is the analogy that Jim Collins gives in this book, Great by Choice, is that you're at sea, and you're literally in like a pirate ship battle, I guess you could say, and let's say you're this ship on the left, okay? This is you right here on the left. Well, let's say that you only have like enough gunpowder to fire five cannonballs. Let's say you have five cannonballs and you have 25 bullets, okay? And you have just enough uh, gunpowder to fire like five cannonballs or let's just say all the bullets. Well, what you wanna do first before you go and shoot five cannonballs at your like enemy ship is, you know where this is going, you wanna use like half that gunpowder or let's just say a quarter of that gunpowder pretty much just to fire bullets until you've hit the other ship, right? Until you see that, oh, this bullet hit my target, it made an impact. Now what you wanna do is, fi is, is concentrate your gunpowder and actually fire the cannonball. So it helps to kind of see it in this way. And again, <laughs> the mistake that most people make is they either fire uncalibrated cannonballs or they fire too many bullets and they never invest and concentrate resources. Because when you concentrate resources, it allows you to get drastically greater returns. And if you don't concentrate your resources and you don't fire a cannonball, as said by Jim Collins and his extensive research on many amazing companies, big and small, 
you will not reap great rewards. You will always get mediocre results if you don't concentrate your resources. So amazing lesson, amazing mental framework for split testing and innovation and scaling your business. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you really enjoyed this video and you found it valuable and you think it's gonna help you grow your business. And of course, last but not least, if you hit that subscribe button, that will make my year. We are almost at a thousand subs. And for those of you that have subscribed, I am greatly, greatly and eternally grateful that you have done so. And for those of you that haven't, again, please do so. <laughs> and make sure you hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much. And hopefully I covered everything I wanted to cover in this video. Ciao.